Alright folks, and I just opened my uh, browser, which is internet browser, which is uh, the Google Home. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of browser you have, it will work in your browser as well. It just depends where it's going to be your print option. So it's going to be a little bit in different location somewhere, but go ahead and find it. What you can do, you can click right click on it and it will give you some and white space somewhere, some print abilities or just go to option find the options and see what you have under your options and I have the print over here click on print and um, when you're going to click on print it's going to, the option will show up and in some uh, internet browsers you will see the preview as well on some it's not necessary that you're going to see the preview and Google Home you can see the preview so it's neat you can see what you're printing how your PDF will look like by the way this image was taken by me so I'm out the elder and photographer it's uh, Colorado Denver in 2010 and uh, it's, a, it's a huge high quality image that was taken by me I'm the other the photographer for it and um, don't miss by the way my photography uh, tutorials so in destination or on some browsers it's going to say the printer or in some softwares third party softwares is going to say the printer keep in mind that you're using the same technique to print the web pages documents from third party softwares etc right so it's probably it's going to say the printer not destination maybe destination you need to click change you probably not going to have the cute pdf as default and it's probably going to say something like Microsoft XPS document writer or something like so. What you need to do, you need to show all and select the cute PDF writer. Okay, click on it, select this as a printer. So now it's going to be selected. Then you will have to play with some options, default options, depends to your uh, printing um, features. E of your third party software uh, layout you can go landscape okay you can go black and white in color in this particular and um, the Google Home and also headers and footers if you will click on it uh, it will show the address where the um, web page is located if you're printing as a web page to as PDF to PDF in this case I just want to plain simple no web page so it's so nice like so and um, here we go and then click button print after 10-15 seconds depends how fast your machine is the menu will appear and um, will ask you to name it let's go ahead and name it uh, 5 click save and we'll save it after a couple of, uh, seconds just go ahead and have a look and um, 5 right here I'm going to click on 5 and here we go I, I just clicked on 5.pdf and my PDF Adobe Acrobat just loaded and you can see how our PDF look like it's a beautiful and you can zoom in and it's doesn't lose the quality in compression compression is just the way it was in the image the quality is beautiful and by the way I'm the other of this photo so I took this uh, photo and um, don't miss my video tutorials on photography as well so subscribe for more useful tutorials here we go we just learned how to uh, convert the image from the web page same techniques you can apply to create the web page, to convert the web page, or to convert any data from any third party software such as documents, reports, whatever. Just go to find the print uh, abilities, features uh, in that application. Click on print, select your acute uh, PDF writer, click print, and print it out. And play with the options till you're going to be satisfied, and then print it out. So you just learned how to do so. Let me show you how to do the web page, the whole web page. Let's say this is my YouTube account. I'm going to go ahead, right click on it and print. As you can see, it doesn't have the background and it doesn't have some color uh, cells like table or cells. 
well you, when you're printing the web pages and um, into PDF using the cute uh, PDF writer it does that to the web pages but it save all the text original had walls but doesn't pick up some styles of the CSS styling on a web page in HTML code so it's not probably not going to pick up the um, table f uh, color formatting and etc but it will keep all the text so keep that in mind and you can of course go landscape portrait black and white if you need it or color and etc but as you can see it uh, kept all the text but didn't kept the video and some other information because simply uh, it's impossible to um, for the cute PDF writer to understand it don't be worried uh, when you're going to send it through with your applications about 90 percent it will understand it maybe some custom complex um, formatting of the data is not going to understand it but you can also uh, test it and see if it's going to understand it or not unfortunately for the websites it doesn't pick up the background color or background uh, image and some other Cascal styling sheet um, information from the HTML but it keeps as again all the text and the text is necessary right uh, if it text the necessary for you not the whole um, website the way it is use the cute PDF writer it's just doing an excellent job let's say you want to print the report or receipt from the website use the cute PDF writer it just will pick up all the information for you in simple kind of black and white uh, plain background matter okay click print and uh, wait 10-15 seconds and let's just name it as it is and click yes and let's have a look and uh, here we go here's how our printing look like As you can see it's picked up deal the whole website and put it on different pages you can make it portrait landscape whatever you want okay and it's very sharp and smooth okay so you just learned how to print the the whole website or just the image so just use this technique let me go ahead and show you how to do it in Microsoft Word pretty much the same thing I just I just put the plain text just a test uh, table and the uh, photo uh, just just a photo so you know just not going to that much matter and what we're gonna do and uh, just going to say do some borders just print it and you already know how to print it in Microsoft Office I'm using the 2007 you need to go file and print and as again uh, you need to switch your default printer name to a cute PDF writer so you got an idea you gotta select that visual printer virtual printer all the time to create to save as PDF click OK wait 10-15 seconds it will pop up depends on your computer and this idea is simple let's say like so PDF you can name um, the file the way you want it word let's say click save and uh, I just saved it and let's have a look this idea is simple that's the name of the file here we go click on it and it just loaded the the whole PDF file just the way the the world uh, the the word document was as you can see it's pretty sharp we didn't lose any quality it's sharp when springing from Word or Microsoft Office documents it's nice and sweet and as well as you can use this as again this technique to print from your other third party software that like doing some reports and etc okay so you got an idea right guys I think it's I explain you the way it, it should be explained for the beginners and people who doesn't use computers 
a lot I think everybody will understand it the whole idea and then I show you the, the visual image how to do so uh, the video and I hope you learned and I hope you will use my method and techniques how to create PDF file from any uh, anything out there and as again my name is Alexander Moroz and I was your tutor for this video tutorial I have some other video tutorials and useful computer uh, information tips and techniques uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel I have uh, the other channel my, my other channel is Moroz Academy which will be dedicated to uh, computer tips and um, tricks and uh, some neat applications tutorials go ahead subscribe for that as well and as again this tutorial was brought to you today by Alexander Moroz Mr. Z Media and the Moroz Academy thank you so much for watching please subscribe thumbs up so more people can see it and I will see you till the next time bye bye now